Is the Miata finally a classic? The answer is yes. Where does the Miata come from? I mean, visually, it has a lot of styling cues from the Lotus Salon. But in reality, the Lotus Salon is nothing like a Miata. It is much more like an MGB. Uh, there's hints of the Alpha Spider in there, and, and they used a lot of other cars to design and perfect it. But the whole, the whole adage that a, that a Miata is a modern Lotus Salon is fooey. It, it really is more of a modern MGB. If you think back classic sports cars, the MGB was the, let's call it the standard, right? It was around for a long time. It was the most popular. That was your quintessential 60s, 70s, four-cylinder European sports car. And it, was, and it lived in a pretty crowded market. We had cars from Triumph, Datsun, Alfa Romeo, Fiat, whoever. The Miata kind of existed in its own little world. I mean, yes, it was a Honda S2000. It was uh, later we had the Boxer, but nothing that was really the same as the Miata. So it kind of existed in its own little ecosystem, yet still is looked at as the standard for sports cars of that era. So the Miata defined sports cars in the 90s and even today to some extent it is what a pure sports car is all about the mgb was that answer a simple inexpensive well-designed well-made sports car for a different generation i would say everything that makes the mgb so good also works in the miata right it's the right size the top goes down it's not a zillion horsepower it's horsepower you know it, enough to make it fun but it's not a cobra and that's fine, not everything has to be a Cobra or a big block Corvette. It is fun that you can drive a slow car fast. It's fun, you can wail on the MGB and it sounds good and you're moving, not fast, but you're moving. The, the, the stock 1.6 Miata, very similar sensation. It feels fast, it feels lively, it's moving, but you're not going 90 miles an hour. And, and there's something to be said for that. The MGB was the best selling sports car in the 60s and into the 70s. It did finally age out, but uh, they made half a million of them plus. The Miata is the only car, only sports car that's really eclipsed that number. The early ones, it was somewhere in the half million range, but it's up over a million today. This this tells a story. And, and if they sell that many of something, it might be because it's a good product. And the, the MG was a, it's a pretty darn good product. Yes, it had some, some issues, but a lot of that was later owners, college kids and such that really couldn't afford to keep it running. That's where a lot of the reputation problems came from. Of course, the Miata has, has pretty much zero of those kind of issues. The, the other big thing with the Miata, it's a little bit more advanced than an MGB or, or anything from the 60s. It's got the independent suspension, it's got twin cam, modern ignition. It's very usable, it's very reliable. That's the other thing. It's such a reliable car. The engine originally was from the 323 GTX, which was the turbocharged car. So it's, you know, it's got oil um, squirters for the pistons. It's a very durable car in that you can enjoy it, you can drive it, you can autocross it and you don't have to worry, oh, I'm gonna break it, or I'm gonna be walking home. The Miata is certainly a more modern car, but the, the overall feel, the Rorty exhaust, the quick steering, the nimble, lightweight feel, the suspension, the brakes, it's really more similar than different. I mean, and you could, you could say, oh, Tim, let's go out to an autocross and I'll show you that a Miata is better. Yes, it will win. But as far as just driving these around on the street today, they're really more similar than different. Yeah, the, the Miata does push a lot of those buttons. I think the styling is timeless. It doesn't have little tail fins like the B, but you look at one and, um, you know, it's still emotional. It's, and it's still kind of raw by today's standards that it, it does capture a lot of what made the MGB so good. The Miata aped the Lotus's handling and looks and performance with much more ordinary components. These components are more similar to the MGB. Yeah, sure, the Miata has a five-speed twin cam and, and, and much more modern than an MGB, don't, don't get me wrong, but it's a, it's a, it's a half-million production run, mass-produced, cheap sports car. That's what the MGB was in the 60s and 70s, and that's what the Miata is from the 90s to today. So one thing with the Miata, it continues to find a new audience. And whether you want to credit, you know, Radwood, bring a trailer, but it has a younger audience. So it's a, here's a sports car, it's over 30 years old. It has an audience that's younger than the car, which is, you know, something that's a little different in our world, that it's, it's got a younger, a younger fan base than you'd expect who are getting into sports cars, getting into cars. You know, the MGs attract an older audience. Th these are people that liked these cars, had these cars, wanted these cars back when they were new. There are some young people that have MGBs, they're fairly attainable, so if you want a classic British sports car, a younger person will gravitate more towards that to 
than to a more expensive car. That's just logical. But the Miata has a wider base. The Miata is almost timeless and it attracts a 20 year old as much as it attracts a 60 year old. Is the Miata finally a classic? Heck yeah, I drove mine, I was in Orlando the other day, coming home, clear sky, and I remember looking up and thinking like, like this is a classic sports car. This is no different experience than the MGB, and I've been lucky to drive a lot of different stuff, and yes, it still has that classic feel. It's the right size, it's kind of basic, it's not covered in buttons and touch screens, it has real gauges. It still has that classic vibe. I think we've clearly proven the Miata is a classic sports car, but we want to hear from you. Leave us a comment below. Please like and subscribe to our channel. And if you want more of this kind of stuff, go to ClassicMotorsports.com, where we have thousands of stories and cars like this. Support brands that support Classic Motorsports. Get your chemical solutions from CRC Industries. Visit CRCIndustries.com to learn more.